Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to learn how to factor a trinomial. Of course, there's different types of trinomials with different techniques, but here we're going to look at a general technique, especially when the coefficient in front of the square term, the x squared term here, is a 1. How do you do that? Well, there's four definite steps. First, you write the parentheses, then you place an x in each of the parentheses, then you determine the signs, and then you finally find the numbers such that the product and the sum add up to the correct numbers. Let me show you how that works. So first we're going to write the parentheses. We know that this cannot be written as a product of two binomials, and therefore you write them within the two parentheses like that. Next, since we have an x squared here, you can only obtain that if you have an x in this parentheses and an x in that parentheses. Since the number in front of the x squared is a 1, we don't have to worry about the coefficients over here. They're 1 as well. The next thing you want to do is determine the sign, and that's determined by looking at these two signs right here. First of all, to get the number negative 10, you're going to have to multiply a negative number and a positive number together, which means that these must be either a positive or negative, or a negative and a positive, which means the signs are a plus and a minus. Next, we need to find the numbers that fit into here in such a way that when you multiply them together, you get a negative 10, and when you add them together, you get a negative 3. Let's say the two numbers are A and B. So A and B, if you multiply them together, you get a minus 10, and if you add them together, you get a negative 3. Well, first of all, you of course already realize that one of them must be a negative number, and the other one must be positive in order to get a negative 10. How can you accomplish that? Well, the only way to get a negative 10 is to multiply 2 and a 5, and of course one of them must be a negative, so it's either negative 2 and a positive 5, or a positive 2 and a negative 5, or it can be a negative 1 and a positive 10, or a positive 1 and a negative 10. These are the four combinations in which you can get a negative 10. However, when you add the two numbers together, you should get a negative 3. And of all the choices, the only two numbers when you add them together are these two numbers. Therefore, you can say that a, a 2 added to a negative 5 adds up to a negative 3. And so, bingo, those are the two numbers. Those are the two numbers you're looking for. What you do then is you put the 5 over here to get a negative 5, and you put the 2 over there to get the positive 2. This is what we call the factored form of this trinomial. It's a product of two binomials. There's a binomial, there's a binomial and we're multiplying them together. Now you can always check to see if you got the right answer by re-multiplying these out again. So what we can do is multiply this times this. So x times x gives us x squared. x times the negative 5 gives us negative 5x. A 2 times x gives us a plus 2x. And a 2 times the negative 5 gives us a minus 10. If you then add the like terms together, you get x squared minus 3x minus 10, which is again what we started with up there, which means that this is the correct factored form of that particular trinomial. And that's how you do that. 